up for the first, which was yesterday, and today is the second, because I stand with my brothers. I stand firm with my brethren. We need rate increase because one thing for sure is the cost of living is rise, rising. The cost of fuel is rising. Everything is rising, driver. But you know what's not rising? These rates, driver. What's happening, driver? As you can see, I'm at the crib. I'm chilling. Uh, you know, I ain't been on the truck for the first, which was yesterday, and today is the second, because I stand with my brothers. I stand firm with my brethren. We need rate increase because one thing for sure is the cost of living is rise, rising. The cost of fuel is rising. Everything is rising, driver. But you know what's not rising? These rates, driver. America needs us. You got to know where you stand, driver. You got to be firm. At the end of the day, listen, this is what I want. This is what I have to have. All you drivers out there pulling that cheap freight, stop it, driver. You're messing up the industry. Stop messing up the industry, man. You should go and go get you a desk job, driver, because at the end of the day, we stick it to our guns, and you have to understand, without us, America would not be moving because Trains don't hit every corner and every crevice in America. They need us, driver. We got to demand what we want, and we got to stand firm. They got, they got to give it to us. They got to work with us, driver, because they need us. We quintessential workers. They didn't even pay us, and we still was driving. Driver, through COVID-19, we still driving, risking our lives, driver. Y'all hit that comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you standing firm, man. Let me know. Let me know. Yeah, so last I checked, I got my MC, I got my DOT, so I could work for me. When I look on the side of that truck, you know what it says? Congo Express. That's the name I wanted. That's the name I chose. So why does it feel like I'm working for the 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 the, the, the uh broker or it feels like I'm working for the dispatcher driver? No, oh, it's not right. We need the transparency that they've been talking about. I need to know what this broker is getting paid for this load. And I need to know what I'm charging for this load so I can see what's going on. Because there's no way I'm out here damaging and putting wear and tear on my equipment. Tires are on the side of the road. Everybody knows if you're a driver, $600 just, to, just for a tire. And, and you telling me I pull a load right now for $1,500 and catch a flat $600 for a tire. That put me down to what? That put $900? Then the broker made $1,500. How it's working. You can't, you, you can't have no skin in the game and want to make all the money. The brokers, the brokers are really going crazy. They, you know, they want to shortstop us. They want to cut us off. They want us to pull for $2 a mile. Listen, man, some of us got motors that, that drive for a dollar a mile. So we can't sit up here taking no cheap freight, man. You know, we can't do $2 a mile. We can't do $2.50 a mile. Hell, $3, $3 a mile is, is, is very low. So at the end of the day, we need them race to come back up. We need the race to come back up because the race got to match what's going on with the economy. If gas is up, cost of living is up, how can we still keep getting paid the same? It ain't, it ain't making no sense, driver. Business is business. If I'm dealing with direct a direct shipper, Who's going to provide me with direct freight? We could build a relationship where, you know, we could start start something out where, because nine times out of ten, you're not going to have your own MC, so I can't check out your, your credit. If I can't check out your credit, there's no way that I could accept a, 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 a seven-day term or a 10-day or a net 30 term with you. So, you know, you would have to pay the, you would have to pay me up front. Or we could probably work something out where you could give me half up front and half at delivery. But at the end of the day, I feel like we need to eliminate the people that's short stopping the trucking industry. The people that are messing it up. The people that want to make as much as the driver, but don't do as much work as the driver. I had to go to school to obtain my CDL. I had to put two years on the road before I, I came into a local position 
Then I started my own company. With starting my own company, I got my Twig. I got my SCAT. I got my MC. I got my DOT, BOC3. And I have my minority, uh, my minority enterprise. So for example, I was working with a broker. Every message the broker sent me, it ended with hurry up and go to the port now or go get the freight now. What I'm saying is, listen, I don't pay these insurance costs and put fuel in my truck and got my MC and got all my all my criteria, everything that I need for for a broker to be talking to me like this. I'm a company owner, man. You got you got to watch yourself. You can't talk to me like that. And that come from a lot of people not standing their ground. A lot of people letting themselves get walked over, you know. Like I said, man, y'all need to comment down in the comment section. Give me your input. Tell me how you feel. Tell me what you think about it. Uh, you know, what does it mean to you? Uh, how could things change if we had the brokers actually show us what the rates are before we even give them a quote? I mean, you know, talk to me. Elaborate. Let me know what's going on, man. Congo Express and I'm out. Y'all make sure y'all keep that left door shut, keep them wheels spinning, and let's keep America moving.